Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this futuristic Minecraft rendering blender. It's going to be a beginner tutorial, so I think everyone should be able to follow. So let's get started. Now you want to start off by going to the website minecraftworldmap.com. The link will be in the description. And there you can download a lot of finished Minecraft files that you can import to Blender or whatever software you want to use. So we're going to use one of these maps. This is going to be a future city. And we're going to download this city. As you see, this city has a lot of buildings. So we have a lot of options and different locations to render. So that's really good for our tutorial. Now I'm just going to speed up the downloading and I'm going to find the files. And what we're going to do is to go into the folder that we just saved. Uh, it's this one and we're just gonna copy everything so control C or just right click and copy the items and we're gonna use this later when we're gonna import it into Minecraft so let's go into Minecraft and go to options go to resource packs and then click open resource pack folder and it's gonna pop up and we're gonna go into the saves folder and then we're going to make a new folder inside this folder and this is where we're going to save all the items we just copied from the futuristic city file and then click Control v or just right click and copy it in and then you have all the files inside the resource pack folder or the save folder so click done done and go into single player and as you see now we now have the futuristic city in your select world option menu so let's just load in okay so now we're inside the world we just downloaded the futuristic city and what we're gonna do now is to walk around the city and you can find a location you wanna have in your render so just explore your city and find out what you want to render and then later on when we look at a map for importing you can recognize maybe the places you think look nice and just import those parts because you can't really import the whole world at the same time because it's a really heavy file for a blender okay so let's go outside again and back here and even for behind and we're going to use a software called Mineways. it's a free program so you can just download it I will have a link in the description and this program lets you import Minecraft files into um, 3D softwares which is really cool so I'm just going to select the world we had and as you can see now we have the map of the world so now you can start selecting the parts of the world you want to import into an object file which you can use in Blender for rendering later. So you can just look around, see if you can recognize anything and import in the parts you want to have in your new Blender file. Okay, so now I'm just going to look over the map and find a place I want to import and I'm going to right click to select this part of the map and then you want to click yes on the information uh, pop-up and just select yes and then you want to go up to file and we're going to export it for rendering and this is going to be an object file so just click export for rendering and now you can find a place on your computer where you want to save uh, these files you should actually save this in a folder because you're going to get two files you're going to get an object file and some other file which I don't really know how to use but you don't really need anything else in the object file so just find a place you want to save it on the computer I'm just gonna save it on the desktop and make a new folder and name it whatever whatever you want I'm just gonna name it minecraft import then select the folder and give the object file a name and then you can obviously adjust the height you want to import and the and uh, different coordinates you want to import 
So if you want to import, let's see, let's say a tall building, you want to have the set axis maximum to a high number. Okay, so let's export it for Blender. And then we're going to go down to Blender again. And we're going to go to first Cycles Render for better shading. And then you want to go to File and click Import and go to Object and then file the f find a folder where you saved the object file. So let's say Desktop and Minecraft Import Future Object and Import. Sometimes it's going to take a while if it's a big file but soon we will have the file in Blender. Okay, so now we have the whole file inside Blender and this is going to be the fun part because we're going to start adding materials. So just click X to delete the devil cube that we already had in the scene before we imported. And now we're going to start uh, setting up a point for the camera and adding all the materials for this object because we actually have a lot of materials on this one. Okay, so as you can see we have the part we imported and if you click shift F now you can actually walk around the scene. So you should find a good spot where you want to have the camera and then click Control Alt Numpad 0 to make the camera go to where you are currently looking. And then you want to right click to select the camera because as you can see now you can't really see very far. So make the end further away so that you can render the whole scene. Okay so now we're going to start adding materials and we have to add in those manually with image texture. So go to image texture and then select this one on the side and use future RGB which is the texture that follow the object file. But as you see now we need to add a lot of materials and we can't really see the materials yet. And since we need to add a lot of materials I think it's more fun to have a lamp first so that you can actually see the materials we add. So I'm going to go back to normal mode and then click shift A and add a lamp. I'm going to add a sun and we're going to grab it with G and increase the size to 1 and strength to let's say 5. Okay so rotate it with R and if we go to shift set to go into render mode again you can see we now have lights. So now we can keep adding materials. So right click to select, use nodes, image texture, and then use the future RGB. And you need to do this for all materials in the scene. Use nodes, image texture, and future RGB. Now you can see the list down here with all the say, objects with the different materials and you actually need to add the materials on all of these. So you should start on the top and just repeat the process that we just did and do it on all of the different objects or materials in the scene. So this is going to take some time, I'm just speeding up right now, but you should be able to do this in yeah, a few minutes, it shouldn't take too long. It's very repetitive, so you can listen to something else while you do it, for example. Okay, I'm going to select the camera again, right click, and Shift F to go into fly cam again. And I think I'm going to find a new position so that we get a more interesting scene. So just uh, move around with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game. And find the spot you want to have for your final image. I think I want something like this. So that you can see many of the tall buildings. 
and left click to confirm when you have the spot you want to have. Okay, like this. Rotate it a little bit if you want to. If we go into rendered mode now, shift set, you can see that we have all the materials, but we don't really have a background like a sky. So I'm going to add that in world settings and make it lighter and make it more bluish so that it looks like an actual sky. It's just one color, but it looks good enough in my opinion. I think you're going to just grab the camera a little bit and make a few adjustments to just give it another perspective. So click Shift Set and then Shift F to go into fly cam mode. And I'm just going to find the optimal position before I start rendering. And R to rotate again. G to grab. And then we're going to start going to the rendering settings, so quality to 100%. And then sampling. And make the render samples as high as you want. The higher the better. So I'm going to make it 300. And then I'm going to save the file. Save as. And I'm going to make a new folder. Minecraft. And then give it a name. I'm going to give a tutorial file and then save it there. Okay, so now we can start rendering. We're just going to scroll to the top and then click render. And when we have the finished image, the tutorial is over. And this is what it looks like when it's done. I think it looks really pretty. And this is the first of two Blender Minecraft tutorials. So subscribe if you want more. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, I post two tutorials every single week. So thanks for watching.